Joshua 8, 7. And you shall rise up from the ambush and take possession of the city. And Jehovah and the Lord your God will deliver it into your hand. You know, we as Christians aren't to ambush or take cities. But we can seek the Lord to overcome and take what he has for us into our possession. Okay, Titus 3, 1 and 2. Remind them to be submissive to the governments and authorities, to obey them and to be ready for any honorable form of work. And so what this is talking about is being subjective, you know, following in the laws, not being unruly or rebellious or causing chaos. Yes, God is ultimately going to set up his kingdom. We see that in scripture, but he don't need our help into like overthrowing a government so that he might. And the scripture saying that idea isn't of God, be submissive. Now, this isn't also saying that we should be, like, mistreated by the government. This isn't saying we shouldn't have rights. This isn't saying, well, they don't want us to be Christian, so we're not going to. Because God always comes first. Our allegiance to God got to come before our allegiance to anything else. But what this is truly saying is we live in a way to where if our government needs godly counsel, the church is who they go to. Now this isn't, as times progress, this has happened less and less and not even, uh, prob not something politicians I think give much thought to today about seeking counsel on their decisions, spiritual counsel. Um, if they do, they probably equate them all to the same rather than the Bible being higher standard. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that we're to live that way. Um, good picture of this is Daniel. Daniel was a lot, we see allegiance to the king, um, first, uh, Babylonian and then Persian. But we also see his allegiance first to God. Daniel sets a good standard of this, a standard that we should strive to live by. To slander no one, not to pick quarrels, to show forbearance, and to consist gentle disposition towards all men. So it's going from our government to how we treat each other. Not only should we show devotion to those who rule over us, those who govern us, those who lead. Um, but we should show respect to others with us. You know, our neighbors, our co-workers. We should display the love of God in our life. Not just to the church, but to those who aren't of it as well. That way they may receive Christ by the actions we show we can truly share the gospel. Because if we're not living the way the gospel shows, then us sharing the gospel becomes a mute. There's no sense in it because they're like, well, the change didn't happen to you. I'm a better person than you, so what's the point? We don't need to live like that. We need to let Christ live through us and be seen through our actions. So when we share the gospel, people are more prone to listen.